the local headline in the newspaper read, Woman's Rain Finger Found Under Office Sink. She snapped the paper shut. She bolted out of the chair. How could I be so careless? I was so careful to clean up. I thought. Her mind reeled back to that fateful night. The rain was pouring down cold and black sheets of pre-ice premonition. She wanted to speed, but the slick roads prevented her from doing so. A frozen smile <clears throat> curled the corners of her mouth. I did it. I did it and nobody will miss her. Two weeks earlier, on a Friday night, a series of fortuitous events fell into place. The last of her co-workers bid her good night. She so desperately wanted to leave too. It had been a long and exhausting week. In strode the evil one. <laughs> and she berated the already withering subordinate. You are so stupid. You will fix all of these mistakes if it takes you all night. Let me know when you're finished. And with that, she threw the pile of red marked papers on the woman's desk, and it fell into a display of bloody, angry words. The woman knew this was the night. The black bag had concealed the hand and the hand saw. She toiled to make the corrections on the mistakes. All the while, she kept her eye on the bathroom door and waited and waited. Finally, the evil one slipped behind the ladies' room door. She followed, fearful that her telltale heart would give her away. As she got to the door, she heard the sound of the water coming through the tap. She opened it up and slipped in carrying a black bag behind her back. She walked up and stood behind the evil one. Their eyes met in the reflection of the mirror. The evil one had anger all over her face, and just as she was about to spew more hateful words, she noticed the hammer plummeting toward her head. The young woman hit her over and over and over. And then she pulled the hand saw out of the black bag, and she proceeded with her arduous task of dismembering the lifeless body. She carefully put equal parts into the hefty black bags, not noticing the finger that had slipped under the sink. The combination of bleach and lilac-scented pine saw cleaned up all <laughs> of the type O splatter. The rolling office chair made a fine wheelbarrow. She had made sure to triple bag to prevent leaks. As she pushed the burdensome bags toward the elevator, the doors opened to the garage, revealing the getaway car. She threw the bags into the cloth-covered trunk, and she drove off. She pulled up to the campsite of the first outhouse. The wafting waste smell made her hold her breath. She dropped the first bag through the wooden opening. She said, no one will ever look here. And then she continued from outhouse to outhouse, dropping in the bags. The last splash was a satisfying sound. Her instincts had been correct. When the evil one did not show up for work, nobody seemed to care. The resignation letter explaining her sudden departure took care of that. But the finger would not lie. Did it point to her? Well, fingers don't lie. But 